Boat ride is making a lot of waves in my country, Nigeria, but someone close to me brought to my attention that someone else is using her account. At first, I thought it was a joke because you have to put in your phone number, get a one-time password before you can actually log into the account. I was like, how? My first advice was, okay, if you have any stored credit card in it, please delete it and then log out of the app. She did, and the problem still continued. Someone else was making right with her account. I had to investigate myself and discover it was true. So if you're watching this and you're using both right, then really let me share with you some security flaws that you have to be aware of so that someone else don't put you in a problem or use your account for a right that you're not aware of. So if you're ready, let's go in. <laughs> Hey, welcome back again to Smart Depot and let's just go in. Let me unveil to you some things that I see as security flaw in this Boat Ride app. Now, the first one I noticed is that this app does not have password. Now, that means that you cannot verify whether your login details are correct. You just put in your phone number, a phone number, it gives you one-time password and that's it. And then secondly, you cannot deactivate this account from the app. You have to send a uh, a chat or email to the technical support and sometimes they take a long time or won't even reply in case you find something fishy and you want to deactivate your account. But in this video, I'm going to show you how um, to handle this issue if your account is hacked or someone else is using your account or some activities going on in your account that you're not aware of. Before we move on, keep in mind, I also contacted both Nigeria on Twitter, sent them uh, an inbox message they still didn't reply. So if you notice any abnormality in your account, go into your account, tap on that three menu, and then click on payments. Now you're going to need to delete your credit card or debit card. Tap on the card, swipe to the left, you will see the delete option and then you delete it. Now this is very important so that somebody not just hacking into your account, but also now start making right and payments for right through your account. After removing the credit card and logging out from this account, uh, the activity still continues. Someone was still using this account. And I was wondering, how is that even possible? So when we opened it up, we discovered that this call, uh, this ride was cancelled. The driver called. You cancelled the ride. A few minutes later, the ride was successful and the person paid with cash. So it's not enough to remove your credit card while someone else is still using your account because it will count uh, for you. The next thing you need to do is either you remove your data, delete your account, or report a suspicious activity. So let's start from how to report uh, a right issue. So you click on the issue with this right, click on its orders, and then click on the account and data. There are many options you can you know, choose here, delete my account, Someone is using my account. My account has been compromised. There are many options. But whichever one you choose, it will give you some little information. And that's like about it. If you click on no, that is not uh, all you need. It will now give you an option to chat, a live chat with support, which most times they answer you. Sometimes they may not. So now, if you click on chat with support, they will ask you to select the account, the right that you suspect. And then they will tell you to describe whatever issue you have. And whatever you do, you still have to send a message to the support. So you, the same thing applies to so whether you want to delete your account, whether your account has been compromised, or whether you want to delete your both data. You just have to go through the same processes how to deactivate or delete your bold account first it's quite unfortunate that you cannot deactivate this the account from the app itself even when you click on support it will ask you a whole lot of you know lineup of questions and then whichever one you click on it will still take you to just send a message to support which sometimes will take some time for them too now i wish this app has a password that you can change the password then it will log out any other person or at least two-factor authentication uh, for you to do that so whether you're going to choose to delete your account or whatever it will still bring you to this place where you describe uh, your issue and then you still have to send message to 
the support. So luckily for me, this one is actually from my own account. Luckily for me, the support replied and they still expect me to send them another message to confirm the lead. Now, that is poor. I mean, that is very poor. So there has to be an option for you to put in your password and delete your account because if your account is being compromised and somebody keeps using it, you may not want to wait for all this process of going to support, sending a message, waiting for them to reply. So how do you know when your account has been deactivated or your data deleted? Well, the funny thing here is that if you go to your profile, even when your account has been deleted, you will still see the basic information on your profile, your phone number, your email, and some other things that you have in your profile. But how you know that your account is deleted if you go to support now where you see all the messages, it will show you something went wrong. So that's the first sign. Then the next one is you have to go to the right history. So that is the main confirmation that your data has been deleted. So right now, now the right history, <laughs> right history saying there is no user with this number. So that there is your confirmation. So once you've seen that, you will still see some information on your profile, but then from the profile, you click on logout. And from there, once you log out, your account has been deleted from both. So any other time you use it, it has to be like a newcomer comma into the account. So that way, whoever that is using your account will also lose access to it. Okay, so let's recap and run up this video. Uh, you notice that this app have a profile with no password. So you can actually change your password to stop any other person from using your account. That's when you are hacked, but there's no option like that on the Bolt app. And secondly, you can deactivate it in, in the app. You have to send message to chat or support to be able to help you to deactivate that. Uh, so one I also advise is that if you have your credit card uh, or debit card stored in this application, I will recommend you delete it for now. And then uh, anybody who knows both should let them know that there, re there is really some security flaws in this system and they have to really, really improve, uh, uh, do more at least add password or two-factor authentication to make sure that somebody's account or credit card in the app won't be used for, you know, dubious act and the person will be held responsible because, yeah, it's your account and you would be expected that you would run that other the right or something like that. So, until I see you next time, stay safe. Peace. Subscribe. I'll see you.